Hey, greetings, friends. Uh, it's Catholic Swo here, and I want to talk to you about a topic called catechesis. Right? And this is for moms and dads and our role as part of the domestic church in catechizing our children. Right? So what is catechesis? Briefly, it is just the process by which people are brought into the faith. Right? They are initiated into the faith through the sacraments, through instruction, to become Christians. And I want to talk about it in three ways. One, the instruction showing your kids how to think, how Catholics and the church think, loving your kids, showing them how we live as Catholics, and then going to Mass, showing them how we worship. Right? It is critically important that you learn to catechize your children. Without a solid foundation, they will, their faith will be like a house built on sand. And when the storms come and when the floods come, that faith will be washed away. We can see this in the t statistics in our culture, people leaving in droves, some people coming back, right? but a lot of folks leave because they have an objection that they've never heard of, they don't know the answer to, and they didn't really understand why they believed what they believe, right? and so they get driven away. So teaching your kids is the first and, and one of the most critical steps to ensuring that your faith is passed on to your kids and that they know why they believe what they believe and how um, everything works, right? So it starts with reading, right? You got to read the Bible. You need to know what the Bible says. You need to know what's in it. And uh, you've got to read the catechism, right? It's, uh, there's been several catechisms throughout the history of the church. The most recent one was 1992. Uh, it is an amazing book. It's about a little over 700 pages, uh, if you don't count the index which is a lot. It's daunting, right? You're not going to read it in one sitting, but you should start looking through it. There is so much richness in the catechism, right? Thing, and it talks about all aspects of the faith, right? Things about how we live, how we love, how we worship, who God is, who God is not, right? You've got to have an, an honest-to-goodness curiosity about the faith. Why do we believe in the Eucharist? Why do we believe that Jesus gave us his flesh and blood to eat? And why do we believe that Jesus rose again? And why do we believe in the Trinity and God is three persons yet one God? All these things are challenging, right? They're great mysteries, things that we know are true but are difficult to understand or explain. And if they're difficult for you, think about how tough it is for your kid, right? If you cannot give them an adequate explanation, then who is, right? And I'll tell you, Somebody's going to come along and say, well, you don't even know why you believe what you believe. What are you doing in that church? And a lot of them are going to leave. And that's sad because <laughs> the church is the true church that Christ founded. And all these objections have been dealt with over and over and over throughout the centuries. Right? Great saints, thinkers, theologians, priests, bishops, uh, great doctors of the church, they've all dealt with these. Right? And we have a whole body of knowledge out there that can help shore up the defenses of our faith. But if you don't know that they're there, then they're not doing you any good, right? So as a parent, as a mom or dad, you are raising your children to be Catholic, you need to get smart on the faith. Right? You need to get smart on the faith. Um, do not simply think that CCD and Father are going to be able to cover all, everything. They're not. That is not going to happen. There's simply too much and you've got to be teaching your kids every day, every day, something about the faith, right? Okay, you got to get smart. Um, so read the catechism, read the Bible. There's lots of, you know, St. Augustine, St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Bernard, St. Therese, uh, JP2, the great, you know, the, the, especially the recent popes have a lot of good encyclicals with information that's um, pretty readable. And there's great resources like uh, Bishop Barron's Word on Fire. All his videos are uh, extremely easy to understand and instructive for us as Catholics. Scott Hahn's books. Anyway, there's lots and lots of books out there. Check it out. Right? Second thing, love. you got to love your kids. Right? This is, you know, it sounds like, uh, okay, duh, I'm a parent, I should love my kid. But not everyone really gets this. Right? You need to love them. You need to will their good right, for their sake. Every day, you need to tell them that you love them. You need to tell them why that, that uh, you love them, right? Don't just say, I love you. That's good. But tell them why so they know, they can trust 
not only does dad or mom love me, but I know, I know why they love me, right? That's helpful because again, you're gonna, there are gonna be times when you're gonna have to discipline them, when you're gonna have to do things that are gonna make them mad. But if they know you, that you love them and that you're doing these things for their good, and that even in the bad times, right, when you're disciplining them or punishing them, that that is itself an act of love, because you've explained this to them and you've shown this to them and you've inculcated in them this, this proper understanding of love, um, that'll go a long way, right? And as Catholics, we're called to love. We're called to love our neighbors, to love ourselves, to love our God, to love our family, our enemies, right? So you've got to teach them what that love means, right? And that is doing the good, willing the good of the other as other, selflessly, right? You don't take care of your kids so that they'll take care of you when you're old. You don't love your kids so that they'll love you back. You love them because they deserve it, right? Because they are created in the image of God and because God has handed them to you as a blessing and given you this great obligation and privilege to teach them in his truth. So love your kids every single day. Tell them. Show them. Show them what it means to love like Christ. Right? That needs to be a daily thing. All right, last thing, all right, last little pillar here. Go to Mass. Go to Mass. The numbers, uh, if you believe the surveys, and I don't believe every survey I hear, but boy, these ones are pretty compelling, um, that only a fraction of Catholics go to Mass, right? We're talking 25% or less. You know, lots of people, uh, people bring their kids for baptism, bring them for First Communion, maybe even Confirmation, but all the years in between those events, nothing really happens, right? You've got to go to Mass every single Sunday. There's a reason why we call them Sundays, Holy Days of Obligation. We are obligated to partake in the sacrifice, that representation on Calvary, where Jesus, His body, and His blood, our Lamb, the Lamb of God, has been sacrificed right, up on that cross for us. And in the upper room, when He offered up the bread and the wine, and even going back a year before that, in John chapter 6, during the Bread of Life discourse, he told the people that um, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you'll have no life in you, right? And all those people, they didn't understand it. They turned away, right? You've got to go to Mass to partake in the Eucharist. And even if you can't, because maybe you need to go to confession, maybe you are in a state of mortal sin, you're still obligated to go to Mass and take your kids to Mass. They need to understand why we do this, why we worship God this way, why is it important for us to go to Mass and to partake in the holy sacrifice of the Mass. Why is it important to go to confession, to get yourself right with Jesus before you go to Mass and receive Him in the most intimate way, right, in the Eucharist, to receive His body, blood, soul, and divinity? You've got to take them to Mass. They need to go every single week so that it becomes routine, so that it becomes something that they do regardless, right? And I've listened to a number of people who kind of wandered from the faith and eventually came back and every single one of them will talk about how the Mass is what kept them Catholic, right? Because their parents took them every week and even if they didn't have a good understanding of why they believe what they believe, the fact is they knew something was true going on in Mass, right? They went there every week, they couldn't explain it, but they knew it was important. It had become part of them, right? It's become part of their identity, as it should, right? It's the source and summit of our Christian life, is what Vatican II says. So we must go to Mass and take our kids, show them how to worship, show them how to pray, how to behave in Mass. That'd be great. <laughs> you know, a lot of people want to say, well, being a parent's tough, let's just let our kids run around in the cry room. No, all right? Show them that they are in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, right? Show them how to be reverent. You ain't got to yell at them or spank them, but you know what? Don't let them run amok. Show them what it means to love the Lord, to love Him, right? Reverent, yes. Show them some passion. Show them how to sing for the Lord, right? How to pray with a fervent heart. Show them how rewarding it can be when you're in a church with hundreds or thousands of other people, right? All worshiping our Lord Jesus Christ. Go to Mass and show them that little bit of heaven that is on earth for us every single time a priest utters those words of consecration. Okay? It's important. It's important for them. It's important for you as parents. Right? Okay. So, 
that's my little uh, video, uh, three pillars, right? Teach your kids, give them a solid base of instruction, of knowledge, right? We are to know, to serve, and to love our God, right? We have to know him with our minds. We have to serve him with our hands. We have to love him with our hearts and our souls, right? Love your kids. Show them how to love as Christ has loved us, as he has loved his church. And then take your kids to Mass. Show them how we worship. Show them why it's important that we worship. Let them encounter Jesus in the holy sacrifice of the Mass, in the Holy Eucharist, as he wants to be abiding in us and we abide in him. Okay, God bless all of you. Thanks. Bye.